Hi, <coughs> it's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Um, a couple of weeks ago, you would have seen uh, the video with making these. What was some small pockets, and then this what I'm going to make into some kind of uh, pocket, and maybe a bit more of a flip out. Um, so I'm just continuing from from there. So I, I've got four medium uh, folders. I'll just put those two to one side for a minute. So I have picked out a couple of um, pieces um, and I'm really liking that on there and that on there. So the idea with these ones is that, again, I think I'm going to cut that part off as not to get to get in in the way. Um, let me just cut around here. It's... Right, so <clears throat> um, yeah, because I thought then this back part can be stuck down. Um, in three places and so you've got a tuck there uh, a tuck there and this is going to open down so you can have something on at the back a pocket here maybe a little belly band there so yeah, so I didn't want the flap there because when you're putting something in and that, I didn't want it to to catch and go all all you know floppy and horrible. So enough about that. <laughs> uh, so I have chosen these lovely golden uh, oak leaves and that cute owl. Um, I think that was from the kit from It's So Bohemian. Uh, I do forget what the kit is called, but it will be in the description. So I have inked those up. Um, don't know if to look for a little kind of um, label of some kind. I'm just flicking through, see what see what I've got quite like that but at the minute it's just looking like three three separate pieces um, now I much I prefer that yeah sorry Al he can perhaps go inside can't he um, yeah sometimes I find circles quite quite difficult to to actually use um, but the times where I have used them, I've always thought, oh, you know, that looks really, really nice. But, yeah, sometimes I think they're just a little bit difficult. And you do seem to get an awful lot in, in kits. So, if anyone's got any ideas of how you use your circles, I mean, I have done some, some videos um, using the plain circles, you know, how to decorate them. But, um yeah, it's more the, the kit ones, um, what to do with them. So, just got a little bit of the, the tea bag uh, paper at the back of it. I think it's needing something, something else. So, let's just, I don't know if to have a bit of this under here. Might have to jump up in a minute. Um, my daughter's at my mum's um she's been there for for the weekend um and she's stayed a extra extra day and um yeah she she just texting that she was <coughs> gonna be nipping in for for some um an extra set of clothes so yeah I'm expecting and don't think she's got a keys on her because she's only 13 and she's not going to remember something <laughs> something important like that so yeah I'm, I'm expecting to have to just jump up and 
and go to the door. Right, let me... Let's wait. Stop back on. Just wanted to make these edges just a little less um, straight, just a little bit more raggedy. So I think I'm going to need plenty of glue on this because I don't think that art glitter is liking that that trim because it has it's got a bit of a like a plasticky um, type coating over it just check that straight before I totally squash it squash it down so that's that okay and then you place that there So I've probably put this on a few weeks after um, I did the other one because I thought, well, I don't want to, you know, the following time a video goes on, I'm still doing uh, folders. So I thought I'll just carry on videoing while I'd got everything out to, to get that those all finished. Um, but yeah, I, I shall wait a little while and then put it on. I don't know if it just needs, but I'm not going to be able to peel that up now. Yeah, I just think it needed something at that at that side. I might end up having to try and poke my um, fabric sack in there, but we'll see. Where's my? Oop. Just, Let me just get my clip a minute and crash bang wallop. Just put that on a minute, see if it'll will catch it. Um I'm wondering if we've got a tiny number. I know we was looking in here last time for tiny numbers. I maybe need to um, reprint out but um, do the really tiny, you know, like two to a page or four to a page or something. Maybe an oval would be better. I don't think it adds anything or... I think it looks okay, but I don't actually think it, it does a lot. Um, got a word. No. No, I quite like that up there. Let me just cut round it a little bit neater and see. See if that changes it a little bit. Oh, I have got um, a little acorn picture. So that could go there. Um, see if I can find that little acorn. Sorry, I'm just gonna lean lean over. I hope I've not got it on the table somewhere because I feel like I got it out and then I rejected it and so I mean the, the cutting on it's terrible but I'm wondering let's try and cut that down a little bit. So 
so I hope you're liking these more kind of real time uh, crafting. I know when um, I did the ask me a question or a suggestion and you know just on some of the comments and stuff a lot of people have said that they would like to see me in real time. I think it's just so difficult um, you're just very aware of how long you've been and how much you've actually made because obviously we're aware that you know taking up your time um are you going to be interested is it going to be just far too you know long long-winded so yeah it is quite quite difficult um so normally i would kind of you know get the piece that i was going to be working on and you know i'd Put everything on it and then I know that that's the pieces I'm using so then we've got none of this or does this look okay and and that look okay um I like that um just like that I'm not sure if it needs that or not I quite like that so yeah um and obviously some days things don't flow as fast as other days um so yeah, it does make you a little bit more self self conscious about about the whole thing. So I'll we'll just see see how you like them. I mean, people keep saying they like hearing me talking, so <coughs> you'll be saying, "Yeah, we've gone off it now." <laughs> but yeah, it it's so hard to know uh, what what to do. I'm just going to do it because I think without it, it does look a little bit too plain. Um, and obviously, remember, it's it's going to be on a page with all, all other things. Um, and I think that's something to, to keep in mind when you're making, you know, your ephemera and stuff. Don't, well, I mean, it obviously depends on your style. But for me... I don't overdo it because um, I just think when you've got three or four different elements, um, especially with me doing the file folders mainly, um, then, you know, it's it's all too much. So uh, less is more for me. So I was thinking that that would go down. This is going to have a pocket um, and this is going to have a belly band. So we've gone for oak leaves. Let's have a look if we've got, um, as I said in, in the other video, I did want to get some of these used up. So I'll probably go for that there. Must practice scissor skills. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned, but I'm actually partially sighted. Um, I've got very little sight in my right eye. Um, so I I don't know if um, that has something to do with... I've never been very good at, um, like... I don't drive. Um, I've never been good at... Um, Oh. like distances you know I you know you have to see a parking spot and you know work out the the distance or the distance of you between another car and um that kind of thing I'm never been very good at that and I, I do wonder if that um is, is something what you get you know when you've got full full sight um so, yeah, I had an accident when, I don't know, I think I was two. Uh, I'm not sticking that down yet because I want to. I don't mind keep this one plain inside. Should we do a bit of stenciling? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I um, fell down the stairs. Um, and... Um, there was like a vase um, at the side of the stairs and um, I did get some ink out uh, I think Espresso Truffle 
and um, <clears throat> yeah, the, the vase smashed um, and, and the, the glass went into my eye and um, yeah, cut my eyes straight, straight open, uh, well not open, but straight through the middle. Um, yeah, so I'm never, that, that's really not working. Um, yeah. So yeah, I've never known um, sight. So I have to be careful uh, when I'm crossing the road. Um, I was obviously never able to play netball, things like that. But, you know, people just throw, throw a netball and it just hit me, you know, in the face. <laughs> Um, yeah, most kind of sports and stuff, um, you know, because you need, you need to be able to look, look around. Um, so, yeah, and, you know, as, as I'm getting older and uh, my illness, I, I have got quite forgetful. Um, so I do really have to remind myself uh, when I'm crossing a road to, you know, make sure that I'm looking in... Um, you know that direction um yeah i've had a, a few close calls actually um crossing roads so yeah and every time i say to myself tonya you need to remember that you know you need to look properly you need to actually turn your head around which as i was younger it was something that i did automatically but like i say um yeah getting forgetful and stuff is um Quite scary, really. And um, yeah, my, my ears aren't what they used to be either. So um, yeah, I just think you get, you get a little bit less aware of of things as you get older. Um, well, I know I do. I seem to be in daydream state a lot of a lot of the time. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop that there. Um, I should have possibly done it in in brown, but hey ho. Um, did I ink that? I feel like I did, but I missed a little bit. So yeah, I think I. I mean, then people, you, people used to be kept in hospital a lot longer than they are now, but um, yeah, I was kept in hospital. Um. A while and obviously in the 70s you know didn't let parents stay with you like they do they do now um i'm sorry i can't remember that but um yeah it makes me feel a little bit sad when i think about it um and then i was always having to go to the eye hospital and um Oh, they always send So I'm not going to put the pocket in now, um, like I didn't with the other one because, um, well, I need different um, paper and stuff. Uh, so we'll leave that at that. So I like that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and they, they always seem to be wanting, you know, to poke at me and stuff. And then the machinery was all... Um, there's such cold metal. Um, I'm going to stick that right in the middle and I have inked it. So now when I go to the opticians, um, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I always go, you know, but I do say to them, like, you know, I, I have got a bit of a phobia. Um, and it's not that much of a phobia that like, keeps me from not want, you know, not going or I don't get anxiety thinking about it. Um, but when I'm there, I do get anxiety um, and I just get a little bit frightened um, and yeah that memory of uh, the cold metal on, on your chin um, you know you put your, your chin on that machine and, and the shining lights in your eye um, and yeah a lot of the times I have to tell them to, to stop and, and give me a moment. And I say to them, you know, um, now all, you know, doctors, nurses and opticians and all the rest of it, they're a lot kinder than, than 
what they are, uh, what they was, um, and you know, especially with with the children, um, and you know, in in the seventies and and early eighties, uh, people didn't really treat children like that. It was um, get your you know get your head down, and it, it's being done, and stop making a drama uh, over it. So then, obviously, it does become. Um, you know, a big, a big issue, and I can, um, you know, remember crying and and not wanting to go, um, a, as a child, and um, because it was it was so traumatic. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know why I started talking about that, but anyway, um, I don't know if to just have one of these little stickers here, um. I did have these from from a Nazi seller. I'm unsure who it was, but yeah, I'm gonna have that there. Um, there's lots of sellers selling these. I think I just put either autumn, fall, woodland, washy stickers type thing. Um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to get this sticker off. <laughs> that's um, that's the good thing about these stickers, and I think that's why we end up not using them as much as what we should because um yeah it's it takes ages <laughs> to to get it off and because I've now got glue all at the end of my fingers and stuff oh oh I've got it so I don't know if I have that yeah I'll have it slightly so let me I'm just gonna get my Bone fold it and just give it not because I don't think it will stick because they are so sticky, but just I mean, the more it's pressed down, the kind of less of the actual sticker you can see. I don't know what that bit is there, I think it was a bit of dry glue off my finger. So that's that. Um, I do feel like it, it means something, something else. Shall we try this tree again? Nah. <laughs> no. Yeah, it'll probably end up staying. Staying like that, to be honest. Um, could have done with just some, like, really little tiny... Um, cones. That's the word that I'm looking for. Cones. I'm just, uh -huh. I'm just trying to find, no, no, um, a number, do we think a number, <laughs> everything's very on that side, is oh that kind of does draw your eye up, up there because it was very, yeah, I think we'll go that because um, I do think that's good for Get you need to look all the way, all the way around it. I think we can sometimes have a tendency to want to just decorate the centre. So, that's that. Again, I'm going to do the same thing, but I am going to use a different ink if I can get to it. They've all actually fall over um, oh the brown will look alright with this one because this one is more brown anyway anyway <laughs> um, let's um, I can't do it with a thing um, I could do with a few more of these really well, so I've got one with, with the flowers on and then I've got the one with the um splotches on but i have got a project in mind for those and the leaf one um but yeah gosh i only own four <laughs> but yeah i could do with another quite generic pattern what um you know goes goes with everything i did see that there was um a nice lace uh design one uh by tim holtz so that might be one that, that I got. 
and I think it then just gives it just a little touch of uh, femininity and just gives it you know that soft uh, you know more of a softer uh, feel because um, a lot of my stuff is quite um, not masculine but um, it, it's not really got that femininity oh, that's it that's <laughs> such a hard word to say um, in it so yeah I think then it just just lightens lightens the mood so that's the front quite happy quite happy with that I'm going to do the same thing I'm gonna cut that bit off. Sorry, my chairs are very creaky. It's not because I sit in it so much. It is um well when I say newish it's I had it um when I started doing doing the dream catchers so um, yeah, two and a half years. Yeah, I think it'll be three years this kind of May. Did I say three? Yeah. And then I think it'll be two years uh, in May. Is it May? April? March? No, probably more April time. Um, I think I did open the dream catcher shop in the Easter holidays. I think I'd had a fortnight off work or something. So that's going to go there. That's really not very straight. Which sometimes you can get away with, but sometimes you can't. So that can go there. I have to put a really thin bead of glue in because I have cut this a little bit short so it's gonna it's not gonna give you that much space for, for putting anything in but I have got um, some little like mushroom uh, notepaper um, I don't know what kit that was from uh, but it's something that I've I've shrunk shrunk down, so I can't I can't remember how many I did to to a page. I don't know if there was eight or something. So I'm kind of thinking that would be nice for those um, bottom bars. So I'll just pop those in now. Um, Where's the other one? And I'll do the same with the other one. Um, yeah, I do want to ink round them, but I'll do that another time. I'm thinking if I put them in now, I won't use them on something else. So yeah, that's fine for there. And if we're having a pocket there with a couple of tags in or something, we don't want a load more bulk. So that's those two. I think it's gonna be really nice, nice additions. So, oh, I don't know where I've put the other two. Right, so these ones I'm going to have uh, upright, like, like that side better, um, like I did the other one. I like that side better. Now, did I keep the tab on the other one? Yes, I did. I quite like. I don't know what's happened with this tab. It's gone kind of rounded, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one off. Um, just try and straighten that up a little bit. So that's that one. I quite like that one, so I should keep that one. Um, did I put belly bands in here? Yeah. So I put those in in there. Yeah, they're lovely. Um, that's that. So, what am I doing with these? 
<laughs> Who knows? Right, I did spot a biggish owl. Oh, I like him. I think um, that's from a Kelly's Craft um, bird kit or something. Um, I don't know if it's just an owl kit. Yes, I think it was an owl kit. I think he's too small. Um, I don't think the big squirrel will be. Yeah, it looks absolutely lost, doesn't it? Hmm. No, not feeling that. I've got any more coffee left. Just have a quick drink. Now, I tell you what, I have just spotted, and I don't know how tall it is. Mmm, oh, I like that. These are really uh, see through. So, just a single, no, that, that, that looked absolutely lost on there. It's not the same. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, we'll go for that. So, yeah, I'm not bothered about using all these up because, um, yeah, we always need a mushroom, don't we? They're, they're very handy. Oh, I mean, I've got some lovely um, things in, in here. Um... But I can use those ones in my winter projects. Look at these acorns. Oh, could have had an acorn. Oh, see how you forget. Even, you know, even that you've got them to hand, you still forget. I didn't think I owned an acorn. And <laughs> got a got a big row of them. So we'll just ink, ink around here. Um I think I'm doing a bit of collage behind them or no too too brown I don't know if I'm quite feeling some some kind of ooh. so Let's rip some of this down. So I think I'll be in that orientation. Let's try and just take a little edge off without um, wasting any. So this is wrapping paper. Um, and I get this from a shop on Etsy. Uh, I think the lady's name's Maz. Um, forget the the name of the shop it is in my description uh, she's a UK shop but I think she does post international um, she sells it in rolls and she also sells it in 6x6 six six, uh, like sample sheets and I think you get 10 in a in a sheet uh, in a pack so yeah I've had about 40 odd sheets off her um, I must look again but she's got so many uh, to look at you do need oh, like an hour let's get some lids on um, and yeah and they're all so lovely but yeah I wouldn't mind having a look um, and seeing um, what she's got for um, kind of with next year in, in mind See what that looks like. Do we want it like that? No, I prefer it that way. I don't know if I quite like it like that and have him to the side. Sorry, I'm actually talking to myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I do like that there. So, what else can we have? 
it may be just a bit of book page if I could I'm sure I had some left on that um, piece what you'd have seen two weeks ago but it's still the same day really um, right oh I thought it was my daughter it's not it's my partner getting out of the bath I don't know why, when I cut it or rip, it always has this tail on it. No, that's really not the, the right piece. You know, sometimes until you've actually ripped it and put it down, you don't know what the right piece is, but you know that it's not the right piece, if that makes any sense <laughs> whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to put these two pieces down and then I'm going to put that owl against it, see see how it's looking, see if that's enough or if I need anything else. Probably could have done this with glue stick but <clears throat> I think it just makes it so much quicker with the art glitter. If I was if I didn't have the camera on, I probably would use glue stick. But I just think for video purposes, it makes it a lot easier. And I do obviously prefer using that, but um, yeah, I try not to use it all of the time. Otherwise, I'd get through buckets of it. lacking more central and it does need something but I don't want to cover the whole folder I feel like I perhaps want him there I think if that had come down just a little bit more I don't think I'd have needed anything else um, I'm not going to try and patch it, patch it up because, because, because I'm not, <laughs> I can't think of uh, a reason why, but just cause. <laughs> so I might go something like that. to line up. Now that piece is now looking too small. That's probably better. Let's have a look at. Yeah, I like that. Okay, dokie. So just ink this up. And then I think probably a label and and that'll be be enough. Before I do stick him down, I will, um, I don't know why he's a boy, but he um, does look like a boy. So that can go there. Um, yeah, I do want him more there. So let's have a look at the label situation. Do we want something quite big at the back I like that I don't love it I like it oh do we want something like that I'm not actually liking the brown um, I'm preferring the black to to the brown I like that. I like that better than that. So, <laughs> so there. Oh, we could just have a little label. 
that kind of gets lost in, in the swirls. Um, that's the same size as that. It's a little one. -er. Little one. -er. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's the one. So, stick this down. Don't know if I want a number or not. I think that's probably probably sufficient. I'll say that paper's quite quite busy. So I'll pop that there. I'm just lift that up a little bit. Just make sure I've got it straightish. So that's that. Yep. Oh, now I've got two more, haven't I, to, to do after this. Oh, are these the last two? Oh, yeah, these are the last two, silly. Oh, good. Not good in that way, but, um, yeah, otherwise this would have been... I'd have been filming another one to put up in another few weeks and be like, yeah, I'm still doing file folders. So, yeah, I like that. do feel like it needs something at the bottom don't want field notes. Do we want notes? No, we don't. No, we don't. Do we want that? No. Let's have a look in the... in this one. I don't want them really with spasming on. I've got some word ones. I've got leaf. That's botanical. Hmm. Shame that's not a bit a bit smaller. What's that say? Oh, naturalist. Hmm. I don't know. I just feel like it possibly needs to be to be black. On you just just like a your mind up. Ooh. Now that could be a possibility. Fern, fern. Possibility, possibility. So it's either that one or or the other one. Let's um, just cut this down. like it like that so I 
I'll just put just a smidge in the glue on just to just to catch that. It's not creased. Okay. Just put a little bit of ink around here. Like so. Want it straight, straight. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. There we go. So I'm not sure what I'm doing inside that one. So for now, I'm going to leave it like that because I might add some envelopes and stuff so that's you know on its on its way otherwise i'll just do the same um either stencil over it or uh collage it so with this mushroom i am just going to put that down in the middle and i'm probably just going to put a label on it oh hey <laughs> That was so uh, very lucky. Right, let's try and get this somewhat straight. Oh, I like that. It it kind of just goes into the into the paper. Let's just get me by a folder. Just cut that past. Press down. I don't know if you can how oh, that's coming up, but when you're actually looking at it, it looks as if it's been printed onto the onto the paper. It's just, it's just, if the light hits it, you do then get that shine. But um, yeah, when it's just flat. Um, it just blends in in nicely right let's um do you want something like notes no do you want something no <laughs> no just said no the first time right so a label wants to be not that one not that one Um, I'm just looking in my little um, field notey type things. Should we just have a tiny cup? I feel like that's just a little bit too, too big. Um, yeah, everything just seems too big. down because it looks like I've cut into the Strange, not even thought about that. 
<laughs> yeah, I like it. Ah. Could really do with just a little tiny little round one there. Um, no, I have got some of these little Tim Holtz ones, but they just so white, aren't they? Um, I hope my head's not in the camera. I'm sorry if it is. That's blue. It looked looked black from over there. Ah, now I have got that little. It's a little bit too too heavy, isn't it? On on the surround side. Now. Is my attempt at cutting an oval out. I must get myself some oval punches. I, I think ovals are as, as bad as circles to cut out. I really do. Oh, I'm not, not doing a good job now. Even though it's, yeah, it's quite nothing key, but yeah, I'm just liking how simple it is. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> just having a look at numbers. To, to spend, look at how I've cut that circle out. <laughs> oh dear. I bet my granddaughters could cut out better than me. Oh, I like that. Oh. Right, I'm, I'm just doing that. Just gonna, just doing that. Yeah, I do like that one. I'm going to say, I don't know what it's looking like through through the camera, but um, yeah, it's really just simple. Um, but yeah, there's something about it. Let me just think that a little bit more. Right, let's have a look at them all. So that's all the file folders done. Obviously they'll want something doing as they, when they get used. So we've got those two. We've got the one that we did last time. And we've got this one that's going to go downwards. And that one. And then we've got the four little cute say pockets what did get sealed up so that's pocket and then there's pocket behind. So that's all the file folders used up. Whoa! <laughs> right, that's me for now. Thanks a lot for joining me. Thanks for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Speak to you soon. Bye.